what would you say to someone who's living in defense mode, wanting to open up to trusting more? Uh, the point mommy made about, like, it depends on the circumstances that the person is in, you know, at any particular moment um, in their life. So I can speak to the space that I'm in at this current point in my life. Um, I'm, I'm trying to be more open just to people on a whole, like in terms of friends and um, business opportunities and like not so quick to always shut people out. Like, for example, if someone says hello, like in my DMs, I used to be like, oh, what does this person want? They probably want this, that, or the third. So now I try to just slow down and hear what the person has to say, like actually engage in convo and just hear the person out before shutting them out completely. Like, yeah, just like give people a chance, be a little more open. <laughs> And also um, for me to not be so afraid to um, approach people and like initiate, you know, making new friends or business contacts or whatever, whatever it may be for me to actually initiate contact and not just assume that everyone is like out to get something from me. You know, some people do have great intentions. Mm. Yeah, that's where I'm at right now that's really wonderful what a wonderful way to practice you know leaning into that space of opening up because as we're mentioning like everyone's at different parts of their lives and as mom mentioned like sometimes all we can see is that defensive mode to be able to survive mm -hmm. but there does come a point when we recognize that survival isn't enough mm -hmm you know, mm -hmm. and that we came to this world to live fully, mm -hmm. to be in the full expression of the vessel, like our spirit that came into this vessel to be, like we came mm -hmm. here to contribute something. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely, I, I definitely agree. And if we're just on the defense, like we're blocking not only others, but like ourselves. Right. And right. like it, that channel is like severed, like what you have to offer can never reach. Mm -hmm. that's very true taking I, I, stock in yourself is very important because it makes you look at who you are through your eyes you're not depending on everybody else's eyes like sit down and take a moment and actually try and see who you really are that's a, that's a that can be like a groundbreaking exercise i love that you're saying that um because it's the perfect kind of lean way into like, sometimes people don't know how to do that. Like, how can you see yourself <laughs> with, with, new, with new eyes? Yeah. So um, that's why I'm so excited to be creating a space for those who want to explore that for themselves with support. And I think this is a great way to introduce what's happening next week, which I'm really excited about. What's going on next week? Well, next week, in honor of International Women's Day, I'm holding a class called Soften, Lift the Weight on Your Spirit. Oh, my God. <laughs> so this class is essentially a taste of what I'll be offering in the You Are Missing Peace healing program. And essentially that's a 12 week program where I'm gonna be leading women through a healing experience. When you start to learn how to um, be in your soft power, you start to learn how to open up. You start to learn how to get to know your emotions and, and love them and, and share them with others and to really experience the strength in being open, the strength in being soft and how we can enjoy ourselves and enjoy our lives from this place. And you don't have to lose out. You don't have to be seen as weak. And um, you can feel supported. You can feel yourself as love. You can feel yourself as wealthy and fulfilled. All the things that we're looking for others to give us, mm -hmm. we can actually experience that within ourselves. So this class is gonna be like a nice introduction taster 
of this experience and it's absolutely free and it's happening on March 8th at 8 p.m. EST. So I'm, yeah, I'm really excited and, and I didn't even know how much it would connect to what we were speaking about today because uh -huh. um, I'm hearing it in so many places. It's just, especially us as like Black women, like we haven't had the spaces and opportunities and the places to practice um, letting that guard down and to be soft and to, you know, get to know what our flavor of softness is like because mm -hmm. our softness is different than someone else's softness mm -hmm. like and even if we're to look at different cultures like our softness is different than an Asian person or or a Caucasian person white passing person like our softness is different um and we haven't had examples with not even examples we just haven't had the space to like not look at the examples and let ourselves be the example Whoa. um so I'm really excited to open the space up um, for anyone, any, any woman, any femme who's wanting to um, connect to this place within themselves because it's so important. Um, there's so much fighting in this world and we need, we, need the, um, we need us all to learn how to hone this, this ability that we all possess of you know, leaning into that soft power. So we I'm gonna, to, huh? We need the permission and we need to feel that it's okay to do it in our own mind because honestly, the weight is upon us or we feel like the weight is upon us. Right? So this is beautiful. This sounds incredible. Thank you. And I love that you said it feels like the weight's on you. And we actually did a tester of this class last week and many of the women actually spoke to like feeling like a weight was lifted from this yeah. one practice alone. So yeah. as much as we feel the weights on us, we can also feel it lifted. Yes, beautiful. So, what time is it at? At 8, 8. 8 p.m. EST. Okay. And before we close, Tanisha, so you came to that class. I'd love to hear, like, is there anything that you would speak to or share to anyone thinking of joining us of what you experienced in, in that class? I would say do it. Just <laughs> do it. But don't think, don't breathe. Just do it. You will be so, wow. Like, for me, um, yeah, you just, it's a space you really, really uh, dig deep. And you really learn a lot about what's happening inside. So you'll see a lot of things come to the surface. And, you know, I mean, that's where the healing begins. So I would definitely recommend this to anyone. I think anyone can benefit from this. Yeah. I'm looking forward to joining. Any, well, any class you do, people are always benefiting from it, you know, mm -hmm. having to dig deep and pull from within mm -hmm. and, and feeling so much better for having done. So even though it was scary, mm -hmm. 